welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I like to make health, fitness, and beauty related videos. And today's video is going to be showing some of my favorite Trader Joe's items. And I say some lightly because I have a lot to cover here. I was going through my cabinets and I was thinking, oh, this is good, this is good, I like this. And then I ended up with quite a collection of favorites. And I'll also be linking a blog post down below so that you can have an itemized list that you can screenshot. I'm also going to share some of my favorite Whole30 foods and keto foods from Trader Joe's, so stay tuned for those. With all that being said, let's get into it. So starting with household items, this is my favorite hand wash from Trader Joe's and it's the fresh linen scent. When I was there this weekend, they were out of this. So I was trying all the other scents and I just couldn't find anything that I liked as much as this. Then I also like for their body lotion, the lavender hand and body lotion that they have. This has lasted me so long and I usually use it if I shower or take a bath at night. If I had to pick my favorite cracker option, the box looks like this. Sometimes it's easier to find based on the box. And this is called Some Enchanted Cracker. It's a multi-grain cracker. And of course we don't eat these if you're doing Whole30 or keto, but if you're not doing those like my husband, then that's a really good option for cheese and crackers. Next up is a favorite smoothie add-in. It is their maca powder. I haven't found maca powder cheaper anywhere else than Trader Joe's. I can't remember exactly how much it is. I'll try and put that on this screen. Now I wouldn't use this while doing keto because for a serving size of one teaspoon, there are four grams of carbohydrates. So that's not very keto friendly. But if you're not doing keto or you're just doing Whole30, then this is definitely a good option. Next up, let's talk tea. This tea is my favorite in the entire world. It's the ginger turmeric herbal tea and it's caffeine free. I love to mix this with LaCroix, ice and apple cider vinegar. And that way I get my apple cider vinegar shot and it's not disgusting. It's a very sweet tea. It's just good all day long, any season of the year. I buy two boxes at a time when I go. Next, I love their rooibos and honey bush tea. It is also caffeine free. If you haven't had rooibos yet, it is a sweeter tea and it's very tasty. And then I also like their spice chai. I don't have this often because I usually remember that I have it after 12 p.m. and I try not to have caffeine after 12 p.m. because I won't sleep. And then everyone's favorite seasoning is the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. I love having this when I'm making eggs and avocado. For some reason, I can't do plain avocado like at all. I have to have salt or something else. There's just something about the texture and just it's kind of bland, but this makes it taste so good. So it's easy to eat a lot of, especially if you're doing keto and you're having avocado maybe once or twice a day. Next up, I actually just tried this for the first time yesterday, but I've heard really good things. It's the mixed nut butter. This has dry roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans. I swear there were peanuts in it because it tasted like peanut butter. And I haven't had peanut butter in a year or two because I prefer almond butter. Next up is my favorite dressing of all time. This is the Trader Joe's Champagne Pear Vinaigrette. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, and it makes any salad taste really good. I love it with feta cheese, uh, some craisins, and a bunch of greens. Now you can't go wrong shopping at Trader Joe's and buying cheese products. Their Mexican blend is really good. And I also like their sour cream. I wasn't having dairy for the longest time because I thought that I was perhaps lactose intolerant or just my stomach was easily upset by it. But after starting keto, interestingly enough, I can have dairy and tolerate it just fine. And I actually need to have more fat in my diet. And I'm finding that sour cream and cheese, a little bit, you know, everything in moderation. They've been helping me get enough fat during the day and they also make your food taste so much better. I couldn't believe how much I miss cheese when I started making taco salads with cheese and sour cream on it. And speaking of taco salad, I cannot say enough good things about their pico de gallo. If you take this and you mix it with avocados, you will have the best guacamole of your life that you made yourself, in my opinion. 
It also is great by itself. It's good as a topping. I really prefer the mild. I accidentally got medium one time. And I just couldn't handle it. So I definitely recommend the mild pico de gallo unless you really like spice. All right, the rest of these items are Whole30 approved and you can have them on Whole30. You can also have them while doing keto and they're recommended. One of my favorite veggies from Trader Joe's is their bag of riced cauliflower. And for me, I would much rather pay to have cauliflower already riced than do all the dishes and have all that hassle of making it yourself because it's very messy. And the price of this riced cauliflower is about the same as buying a head of cauliflower. So when you weigh the options, it makes more sense to buy that bag. Then this you could get anywhere. I just happened to have it from Trader Joe's. They're organic romaine hearts. These are also good for taco salad. You can tell I've been on a taco salad kick lately. And um, they are just good for, in general, salads. For keto related foods, I like to do tuna and mayo. And I will make like a, like a tuna boat out of it with the romaine hearts. And that's a really good way to get some protein in for your lunch. Another favorite veggie from Trader Joe's is their broccoli. And I love the bagged broccoli from there because they're so convenient since they are almost bite-sized. By the time you cook them up, they're bite-sized. And it's just really easy to pair some broccoli and riced cauliflower with your meal. And when you're doing keto and you're first starting and you're kind of hungry, you want easy and convenient and quick food. So those are really good options to get veggies into your diet. Pro tip. Another great option from Trader Joe's is their organic ground beef. I picked up the 85% lean pack because I'm doing keto right now and you want the higher fat content. It has 17 grams of fat, zero carbs, and 21 grams of protein. So in a serving of this, you get a lot of the macros that you need for a day. And if you're low on macros, this is a good thing to incorporate into your dinner so that you can reach your numbers by the end of the day for keto. It is also only made with organic beef. So this would be Whole30 approved if you're looking for a kind of meat to get for Whole30. I just remembered an item that I should have brought up in the beginning of this because it is not keto friendly or Whole30 friendly, but I really have to talk about these California veggie burgers. These are so tasty and at Trader Joe's, it's very hit or miss when it comes to veggie burgers, but these are good quality, good ingredients and they actually taste good. So for the $4 I think you pay for four burgers, sorry if I'm wrong about that, for the price of these, I think they're a really great buy. They do have 10 grams of net carbs, so I wouldn't have them on keto. And because there is corn in it, I would also not have this on Whole30. But if you're not doing either of those, these are a great option. Another favorite of Whole30 and I believe keto too is the coconut milk from Trader Joe's. This is a good way to get some fat into your diet, especially first thing in the morning if you add it to your coffee. It's a really good alternative to a dairy creamer. And the last items I have are both Whole30 approved. I would also recommend them on keto. They're beef jerky, so these are good options to have in your purse if you need some protein during the day. If you're just so hungry you can't really think straight or you just need a snack. The Chomps Snack Sticks, they have nine grams of protein, zero carbs, and six grams of fat. Then you also have the Epic Beef Jerky, and macros on that are 100 calories, four grams of fat, one gram of carb, and 15 grams of protein. So if you're in a pinch, these are really good options. And that is it. I'm sure I have more that are favorites, but I will end the video here because I see I've been filming for quite a while. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button wherever it is on here. And that way you can see more videos like this. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.